Hello, my name is Anna Brayton, and I'm currently a student at Bulls Hill University in the Recording Arts program. Today I want to talk a little about one of my favorite producers, Nathan Chapman. Nathan Chapman has produced for country artists including Keith Urban, Lady Antebellum, and Cassie Pope, among others. However, he is mostly known for his work with country pop singer Taylor Swift. Nathan got his big break in 2005 when he began working on demos with the then 15-year-old Taylor Swift. In her own words, Taylor said, I'd always go in there and play with him some new songs, and the next week he would have this awesome track on which he played every instrument. And it sounded like a record. We did this for a period of a year to two years before I got my record deal. He said the way my blue eyes shined put those Georgia stars to shame that night. I said that's a lie. When the time came around for Taylor Swift's debut album, she ended up choosing Nathan due to their working chemistry. At first, Taylor's record label, Big Machine Records, was unsure of Nathan's skill due to the fact that this was his first time producing a studio album. After selling 5 million copies, this album eventually ended up being certified five times platinum. This partnership with Taylor led to him producing for her later albums, including the most awarded country music album in history, Fearless, and her latest Grammy-winning album, 1989. Well, I was looking for redemption only way I knew best Drinking just to get the weight off of my chest Nathan is not only a producer, but he's also a studio musician, singer, and songwriter. 2015, he came out with his own studio album, Revival. If I die young, bury me inside, lay me down on a bed of roses. Nathan tends to produce mostly country music songs. A lot of his produced songs contain instruments belonging to the genre like acoustic guitars, mandolins, and fiddles. One of the reasons why Nathan is one of my favorite producers is because of the fact that he has accomplished so much in a relatively short amount of time compared to other well-known producers. In conclusion, I hope I was able to shed a little light on the work of Nathan Chapman. Thank you for watching.